Hello, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. Today we are going through, as you can tell from the thumbnail, the new Turtles of Grayskull, April O'Neil. She is the sorceress from Channel 6 News. Absolute fantastic looking figure. Can't wait to crack this one open. The actual card art on the back it's got her there glowing in that big sorceress outfit. In the background, you've got the turtles with He Man. Krang is there, Man at Arms, a few of them, Skeletor even. But it's got a little write up on the back here. April's need to chase a story leads her into more trouble than she expects. This time, it's led her into Castle Grayskull with the powers of the sorceress and into the middle of a war with the power of the universe. Talk about a scoop! More than 11! <laughs> it's got the little cross cell there where it's got the staff. Put staff of the camcorder. <laughs> staff of the camcorder into hand. And it's got the other little figures out with the wave with Hordak and the Stealth Ninja He-Man and Leo there as well. So, let's crack this one open, have a little closer look. So the comic book is He-Man in a half shell. In this comic book you've got the likes of Krang in there, two Bob Steady as well, which is the fourth one. I think he's the fourth one with that metal botto um, parts coming out at the end. Should be next month, I think. Should it be November-ish? So, cracking her out of her little plastic prison. So, it's proper vibrant. Like, um, it's a mid between yellow and orange, the outfit that she's got on. I am loving the little sorceress little helmet thing she's got on, face shield, whatever you would call it. The actual back of it, it's got the two little peggy holes where we've seen on the majority of these Turtles of Grayskull because the wings itself come separate in three parts. So you've got the little two peggies at the top there, but the wing span literally folds straight. The detail in this, especially with the blue. Absolutely gorgeous. The whole lot is textured, textured as well. So it's got two little peggy buttons. Let's just fit them on the back. I mean, look at the span on that. Absolutely stunning. The detail in this as well, it's got like that little cloth piece going down a front and from the waist down it's like added onto a waistband these figures like we all know they're all modular as well so I'll just pop those wings off for a moment the articulation head bobble up and down the actual arms the they would do a 360 but this shoulder piece does restrict it from it. It's all on a ball joint. The um, elbows are on a ball joint and the hands are on like a little pivot as well. The waist does a 360. Legs completely splay out into the splits. Back and forth. They have got a ball joint on the knee. A twist at the boot cuff and a ball joint on the foot as well and like I say they're all modular aren't they so the head should pop off and this will release that little feathered shoulder piece going on you can see it's more detail underneath she's got this like little necklace thing going on there as well but it's all just painted in the one flat grey colour the arms they do pop off as well. The waist will pop off and the little waistband does slip off. 
the hands pop off, it pops off at the boot cuff as well. With the actual wingspan, like I say, it does articulate the wings themselves. They will go straight up, out to the side, or they could even fold right the way down. The tips just come below the feet. So you would just have to arch them up a little bit if you wanted the wings down and you were like displaying this on a flat surface. But we all know we're probably going to have this dangling somewhere from some fish wire <laughs> from the ceiling maybe. So she comes with this camera staff. It's like blue see-through and you can actually see through it as well. It doesn't magnify from any other side. It just wants see-through clear plastic. But it's quite a sturdy piece. So she's got two gripper hands and the staff comes down into like a little gripper part then it goes thicker and then a small part again. I suppose that would be for maybe another hand. Yeah, it fits in line with another hand so let me just tilt that one over. Like so. I suppose there is so much you could do with this with other of the female characters with the swaps and stuff. If I just bring in like the likes of Tila from the cartoon collection and rather than take this golden top off, let's just see if this slots straight over and pop a head back on. Yeah, so you could even have the likes of Teela with the big wings as well, Teela Sorceress. That looks pretty cool, actually, as well. This, this is the good thing with all of these being modular. There's so many things you can actually do with them. Like that Sorceress, that is just added on, that's glued in. On there so I suppose you could like maybe boil and pop that off and if it left gaps you could probably milly put or something and cover it over so you could move that over to like maybe Tila take this off and slide that on you know this if you're, if you're into all them like little crafty things, you could fully make over the cartoon collection Teela. But even just popping Teela's head on, as well on the April's body, that's an absolute cracker of a standout. The I'm just, I am just well impressed with them. If I just pop April's head on the cartoon collection, <laughs> Again, <laughs> that's quite good as well, you know. But let me know your thoughts on April. Do you think it's an absolute stand? I think this is one of the best ones we've seen, actually. I don't know uh, whether that's just me. I love the vibrant colours, you see. So, but drop those comments in the box. Let me know your thoughts while you're there. Do the usual with like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I'll see you on the next. Take care.